We are at Ken Davis Auto Repair, and we're going to interview him on the water hybrid system. Good morning. Good to be able to talk to you this morning about something that is new, not really new, it's been around since the 1800s, but it's also something that can be done by a person to improve your fuel economy. This is a HHO2 water conversion that is actually supplementing fuel for this vehicle. This water has been pre-charged off-board the vehicle using a relatively simple, inexpensive, low-maintenance type of equipment to enhance the amount of hydrogen in this container. The bubbles that you can see coming out in here now are air coming in that are releasing the molecules in this bottle. This is going into the engine to supplement the amount of fuel that this vehicle is at its demand. The vehicle has the capability on board of utilizing the sensors that are there to adjust the fuel ratio. That's done by metering the fuel that's in the gas tank and controlling how much it's being injected into each cylinder. The supplementation of hydrogen in this system is allowing this vehicle to trim back the gasoline consumption by the vehicle by using the hydrogen that is being pulled from this container. This is not new technology, it's something that's been around for a long time. However, in today's higher cost of fuel, it's something that's coming back out. I've seen a lot of people advertise different fuel saving devices that they say will do certain things. The vehicles are manufactured to maintain a certain fuel economics by the, the actual usage of that vehicle. In a truck, the gear ratios are different, so the fuel demands are going to be higher on that vehicle. Power supply and demand is something that's nothing new. It's the same thing in your home. If you turn off a light switch, you can save some electricity and save some money. In this aspect, you can use some electricity from your home to enrich the uh, hydrogen content in this container and then turn that into savings at your fuel pump by allowing your onboard vehicle's diagnostics and computer control and emission system to reduce the amount of fuel you're actually consuming. This is something that uh, is not, as I said before, it's not new, but this application and to the average person, if you can save and improve your fuel economics, this is an advantage to you. This is uh, the only way that I know of without going into a major uh, modification of a vehicle that still meets all the federal emission standards and it in no way will cause damage to the vehicle if it's installed properly. So is the hydrogen and oxygen uh, sucked out of that container down into the engine somewhat? Well, the bubbles that you see are indicating a release by fresh air coming in and it's just agitating the solution. The concentration of the hydrogen in this vessel is being released and the engine is pulling it in on its natural vacuum. So as we are talking, this engine is being fed pure hydrogen and oxygen as well as gasoline. The fuel economics at this point in time are being changed by the fact that the vehicle onboard computer is looking at the load on the engine, and that's done with a mass airflow sensor, and it's also looking at the fuel consumption with the oxygen sensor, and it's determining what the proper ratio should be. So it's modifying the injection on time in the pulse width in milliseconds to reduce the amount of fuel going in because of the supplement of the hydrogen. Well, it looks like a really good system. Uh, 
you're supposed to get better gas mileage with that too, huh? The vehicle owner on this vehicle has given a statement that prior to the installation, fuel economics on this vehicle was around 13 miles to the gallon highway. After the installation on this in a controlled test, it was up to 20 miles to the gallon. Wow, that's great. We appreciate your testimony on that, and you have a great day. Thank you very much. Nice being here.